Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, check this out. What I have here is a small packet of four blank cards. Now, these cards are very special cards. They are unlike anything that you've seen before in the world of playing cards. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what is so special about these cards? They seem pretty ordinary to me. Well, it's the fact that these cards have the ability to transform into any card that they touch. Let me give you a quick little demonstration. If we take one of the blank cards, get rid of it, and we replace it with this king of clubs, all it takes is a little bit of a twist, and now you'll see that all four cards have now transformed into kings. Now, when I first discovered these cards, my immediate thought was, well, what would prevent someone from using cards like this to cheat in a game of poker? And the answer is actually quite simple. The cards were manufactured in such a way where although all the faces might be the same, the backs actually all change color. And this is to ensure that no one can use these cards to cheat or gain any unfair advantage in any kind of way. But anyways, guys, that was the trick. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So now let's get straight into the tutorial. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is Kartrix8 here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys all enjoyed that quick little performance of that really cool packet card trick. We're going to be getting into the tutorial in just a few moments. But before we do, I want to share something really cool with you guys. I recently created a brand new Instagram account for my card magic, cardtricks underscore eight. Over here, I am posting exclusive magic content that you will never see on this channel, as well as some performances that will get taught on the channel in the future. For example, the trick that you're learning today, I posted a clip of this on my Instagram account a few days ago. So if you want to get some bonus magic content, as well as seeing some performances over there before anyone else does here, definitely go ahead and follow me. I'd really appreciate it, and I think you guys will enjoy what we are doing over there. But anyways, that's all I wanted to get out of the way. I'm not going to eat up any more of your time. Let's learn how to do this really awesome card trick. Alright guys, hopefully you stuck around for the tutorial. You guys are going to have a lot of fun with this trick. I know I've had a lot of fun with it myself over the past couple of weeks. And it's really not that difficult to perform. This is a pretty easy effect to execute for the most part. There is one slight where if you're just attempting it for the very first time, it may be a little bit knacky, but it shouldn't be something that you can't get down with just a couple minutes of practice. I think you guys will get this down in no time. But anyways, we will go over that in just a couple of minutes. For now, let me actually show you guys what you're going to need to perform this trick. So for starters, you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself any four of a kind that you like. I'm using the four kings, but again, any four of a kind works just fine. The catch here is all four cards are going to come from different decks, different colors, different back designs. This is where you can get really creative in the ending presentation. Okay, so that's that. Once you have that, you're also going to need three blank cards. Two of these blank cards are going to have a matching back design to one of your four kings. So, for example, I have one king here that has a blue back design. So, I have two blank cards that match that design. All of the other three are completely contrasting. Then, you're going to need a third blank card whose back design contrasts from all of the rest of the cards in the packet. Okay? So, those are the cards. Then you're going to need one more thing, and that is one of two adhesives. You can either use a double stick tape or rough and smooth spray. And you're going to take that adhesive and apply it to the face of this indifferent blank card. So in the correct lighting, you can actually not see anything. It's completely invisible. But if I tilt it just right there, now you should be able to see that little strip of double stick tape. If you're not familiar with... um what rough and smooth spray is it's the principle that the invisible deck is based off of i highly recommend you go ahead and buy one of those by the way if you don't know what that is one of the best gimmicked decks in card magic it basically allows two or more cards to stick together and not come apart like glue unless you apply pressure really really cool uh principle there and if you're performing this trick in person to somebody definitely use rough and smooth 
because a strip of double stick tape can be seen quite easily in person. But on camera, as you can tell, again, it's almost completely invisible unless tilted in the correct lighting. Okay, so take your adhesive, apply it to the face. That's that. So once you have all of those necessities, now I can actually show you what the setup is. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So the setup is as follows. You're going to take three of the four kings. The fourth one that's excluded is that card that matches the other two blank cards. Just exclude that for now. You're going to take your other three kings, flip them face down, put them here as so. Take your two blue blank cards, put those on top. Flip the pile over, take the blank card, the indifferent blank card with the adhesive on it, and put that on the bottom. You're going to take the other king and you're just going to leave it face down on the table, leave it in your pocket, something like that. You're going to introduce that a little bit later. So this should be the setup from the front. This should be the setup from the back. Okay. So now that you have everything and your cards are set up, you are ready to perform. So for starters, you're going to introduce this packet and show it off as four blank cards. And you're going to do it using this very, very interesting count. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't remember the name of this count. If you happen to know the name of it, please drop it in the comment section below so I can be a little more knowledge at this point. Okay. It's basically the Elmsley count with some extra twists and turns added to it. That's the best way I can describe it. So let me just go over this a little bit in detail because it's a little confusing at first. So in order to execute this count, all you need to do is hold the cards in a mechanics grip, push over the top card, switch hands to biddle grip. Take the free hand now, grip the packet just like so with the four fingers at the top, your thumb at the bottom, and you're going to flip over this packet and this card simultaneously. Flip over the card as if you're doing a Stuart Gordon double lift and just turn your wrist to flip over the entire packet. Now, just like an Elmsley count, you're going to take this thumb and you're pushing over the entire packet except for the bottom card as one card. Now, with this hand, you're going to grip, you're going to take that top packet as you return this card to the bottom packet of this hand. So you're switching just like so. You'll be left with two cards here. You're going to flip those two cards over. Use your fingers to push off that bottom card. Use the card to turn it over and then just turn this card over in this hand. Now, this account has effectively, effectively done two things. One, you've shown off all the cards as blank, but you've also shown off that all the backs are blue in color without having to say, hey, look, all these cards are blue. Don't do that. You're drawing attention to an unnecessary moment. You don't need to say, hey, look, I'm using blue cards. That's just going to make your spectator suspicious. Let the visuals do the talking, if that makes sense. So let's go over the count one more time. Mechanics grip, push off the top card, switch hands into a middle grip, take the free hand, grip the packet with the four fingers at the top, the thumb at the bottom, turn over this card as if you were doing a Stuart Gordon double lift, just turn your wrist to flip over the packet. Take your thumb, push off all the cards except for the bottom card as one card. You're going to grip that entire packet as one card as you return this first card back to the bottom of this hand, just like this. Take the two cards in this hand, flip them over, use your fingers to push off the bottom card, use the remaining card to flip it over, and then just take this card, flip it over just as so. That is the count. One more time in full speed, it should look a little something like this. Just like that, and that is the count, okay? So from here, you're going to take the top two cards and just thumb them off. These are those two blank cards with the blue backs, and you're just going to show them off. Again, you don't need to refer to the color at all here. You're just going to be going through your pattern, and again, let the visuals do the talking. Blue will be embedded in their brain without you having to say anything, okay? Oh, and one quick note here. If you are using double stick tape like me, do not apply any pressure at all. Otherwise, the second most blank card will get stuck on this card. If you're using the rough and smooth, that doesn't matter because if it gets stuck, you just apply pressure, thumb over, and it will come off nice and easily, okay? But regardless, take these two cards. As you're talking, just flash the blue backs, talk, show them off just as so, okay? 
you're talking flashing the blue backs casually placing these two cards back on top but you're not going to place them square you're going to place your pinky here and maintain a pinky break just as so and as you're explaining you're now going to take both of these cards and get rid of them the thing is you want to make it look like you're getting rid of one card not two cards so make sure when you take these two cards just keep them nice and square make it look like one card and then get rid of it okay then you're going to introduce this card that's been sitting here, which, of course, right here is going to be the King of Clubs. Flip it over, put it on top of the package as the so. Now, from here, you're going to put your thumb in the middle and your middle finger at the middle at the bottom. You're going to apply pressure. You're going to squeeze and you're going to just say, okay, we're going to give the cards a little bit of a twist. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're using rough and smooth or double stick tape. That pressure is going to allow this king and that blank card to stick together. And now from here, you can just spread out all the cards and just show them off nice and cleanly. And this is what I love because this is fair. Whenever Magician does this, this is usually fair. It's showing off, hey, I really only have X amount of cards. And in this case... It's like, oh, well, how can there be extra cards if he's cleanly showing there are no extra cards? So this is going to get a great reaction. All four kings. How is that possible? That's insane. But the kicker comes in now when you flip over the rest of the cards and you show they're all different colors. This is going to absolutely blow people away. I know when I first saw this trick, this fooled the shit out of me. It took me a while to figure out how it was done. But yeah, that's pretty much the trick. The only complication is when you are performing this in person. Obviously, if you're performing this in camera, cool, you're done. You don't need to worry about anything. But if you're performing this for, you know, a live spectator, a live audience, then you don't end clean because one of these cards, again, right here, is actually two cards stuck together. Now, there's another reason why I don't recommend you use double stick tape in person because if you want to clean up, you can't really do it without getting that sound of removing tape that that destroys everything if you're using the rough and smooth principle you don't need to worry about that this can be in the packet and then you can easily just separate the cards without hearing anything because again that's just how rough and smooth works okay but here so let's assume i'm using rough and smooth i can hand these cards out for inspection with a little bit of cleaning up so let's say i'm here i'm showing off all the kings something i would do is i would now take this bottom most king which is stuck to the blank card i would use my thumb and just push it off so it's not stuck i can't really do that because again this is double stick tape but once it's not stuck what i would do is i'd come over with this hand just as so again i keep an eye on this very very closely i would lift up on the top two cards so if i, I would have the blank card and the king I would lift up on these two cards I'd make sure they aren't stuck together I would actually use my fingers here to push the second card out the blank card into my hand just like this secretly as I hand these cards out boom you just palm this card away I'm not trying to hide it right now I'm just trying to give you guys an idea so you'd have these two cards Apply a little bit of pressure so they're not stuck together. I have to do this a little bit differently again because I'm using the tape. Just come over here like this. Use your fingers to push that second blank card into the hand, just like this. And you can see it gets stolen away as you maintain the king on top of the packet. And just take this hand away as you hand out the kings for inspection. And now there will be absolutely nothing to find but yeah that is the trick i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i will see you guys for my next video cartrix 8 signing off peace out